Kia ora team and welcome, I'm Ruben from Link Solutions and in this session we're going to be covering how to add disbursements or staff expenses to a job within Zero Practice Manager. From time to time over the course of delivering a job for a client you may incur some costs, it could be flights, accommodation, mileage, any uh, fees or lodgement fees, that sort of thing. Now we need to make sure we're capturing those against the job so we can accurately measure job profitability. We also need to make sure we reimburse our staff for those um, where they have incurred those costs personally so here's how we do that. There are at least two different methods for adding disbursements or expenses to a job using Zero Practice Manager. We're going to cover both of them. The first one is around the time of time sheeting. The best person to be entering these expenses is the person who arranged for that expense uh, or the person who incurred them. So uh, make put the power into the hands of your people by allowing them to do that at the time that they do their time sheet. They can do that from the dashboard by going to uh, underneath enter time we have enter a cost. It's going to ask us which job do we incur a cost on? What date was that expense? What was the nature of this cost? It might be Auckland to Wellington return. Times one, what did it cost us? $85. X, this is the, all of the numbers within Workflow uh, Zero Practice Manager, I should mention, are GST exclusive. So that's really important to remember. And what will we be charging the client? Now, uh, this is optional. Not all staff need to see this. Um, you can have that default in the background if you want to, or decide that at invoicing if you want to. But if, you, if this cost never gets captured, our job profitability won't be accurate because we haven't accommodated for the cost of these flights. Uh, and we also won't have the option of on charging this um, to the job. So we can also put a bit of a narration in here. And this uh, billable tick box here is another option we have um, to remove. Um, most of the time we don't want our staff determining whether an expense is billable or not billable. We leave that to the invoicing um, process. So uh, that's all you may need. You don't need the code, you don't need the supplier. We'll just click save. That's how you enter a cost against the job. And you can repeat that process in the same screen that you do your timesheet, um, depending on how you're doing that. The other method is if you're incurring it against the job um, itself, and you're going to instead uh, add a job, like so. Um, inside your job, under the costs tab, you'll have the exact same screen. Uh, this time it doesn't need to know, it knows which job we're adding it to, we just need to tell it the date. Um, uh, accommodation. You notice there's a drop down list there, so most practices and businesses will have a, a list, a finite list of some commonly used expenses that they may charge out at some set rates, like mileage, for example. So, accommodation, uh, Wellington, and uh, we incurred a cost of $150, and we're going to charge the customer $195 there. Save. Cool, that's method number two. Method number three is a bit more complex. This is the scenario that may work for you where we need to reimburse our staff members for particular expenses. So um, they can still add their time, uh, add the disbursement at the time they enter it. Um, they, we can still add it directly to the job, but what we need to do is to generate a bulk purchase order. And that is so that we can create an accounts payable in order to reimburse them. So the way we do that is by going to business and purchases. This may be something we allow them to do, or it may be something we do for their, on their behalf. But however we get there, we need to go to bulk purchase order, select the supplier, and we need to have our staff member set up a bit like this as a supplier, Ruben Sweeney Expenses. Great. And you can either add, add your expenses directly here, so instead of one and two, um, that would work just fine. Where we say I incurred this cost, no, not that one. Let's see what I've got here. So I incurred um, some mileage, 160 kilometers um, at 70 cents. For example, add and repeat that process for all the different jobs you're doing. This is probably the better method. Um, repeat that process, yeah, so a different job perhaps, and it might be uh, muffins for meeting one. And again, um, GST exclusive always, add. That's gonna provide us with a subtotal to reimburse this staff member. So we'd only add expenses that we wanted to be reimbursed. So in this instance, for the mileage, this would be the reimbursement rate to the staff member, not what we would on charge to the customer. So um, when you've done that, you can go to issue and receipt. And what that will do is we're gonna enter in an invoice number. We don't have one, so we can just call this uh, RS expenses and put a date in there, something to that effect. Cool, and save. And what that will do, um, 
will create an accounts payable for us and the business bills to pay. Inside our zero blue, we will have a Ruben Sweeney expenses here that we can then approve and pay like with the rest of our receivables. So I know what you're thinking, what if I'm using zero expenses or Expensify or one of those many other expense apps that exist in the world? The answer is a uh, tough one. You're gonna need to uh, add your job costs to your jobs regardless in order to measure job profitability accurately and have the option of on charging those. There is no integration between any, any uh, auto receipt capture apps for staff reimbursement and zero practice manager that exists at the time of making this video. So unfortunately, you're if you're still if you're using those apps, awesome. Though you probably have enough staff and enough disbursements to justify that. However, uh, see if you can generate a report out of either of those apps that will allow you to um, either monthly or um, on some frequency load the job-related costs from those expenses because they're not all job-related uh, against the relevant jobs um, inside your XPM in order to capture your job profitability and have the option of on charging them uh, where necessary your three options for adding job related costs to jobs within zero practice manager it's really important that we add those in so that we can accurately measure job profitability uh, and have the option of on charging those uh, job related costs if necessary uh, if you do need to reimburse staff and you're using uh, external app for capturing um, receipts or something to that effect that facilitates the capture of those uh, that information from your staff members you're going to need to re-enter that information or just the job related uh, costs from that into your Zero Practice Manager once a month, say. So hopefully you found that worthwhile and I'll see you in the next session.